Okay, so our solar system, it feels like we know it pretty well, right? But every so often, something from way out there, from the dark space between the stars, pays us a visit. And guess what? It just happened again. A third visitor just showed up, and we have got to talk about it. You know, for years, we really only had two confirmed visitors from outside our solar system. First, back in 2017, we had the super weird, rocky thing, Oumuamua. Then, just a couple of years later, comet Borisov swung by. I mean, these were huge deals, right? Like once-in-a-lifetime events. And then, nothing. For six whole years, it was quiet. Well, that quiet spell, it is officially over. Because astronomers have spotted something new. Something on a path that just screams, I'm not from around here. So let's get into it. What is this thing? It's officially called 3i slash Atlas. And how in the world did we even find it? It's like a cosmic detective story. And it all starts out there in the deep, cold void. And just to make sure we're on the same page, when we say interstellar space, what are we really talking about? It's that massive, mind-bogglingly huge, cold emptiness between the stars. To put it in perspective, humanity has only ever sent two things out across that boundary, the Voyager probes. This new object, it just made that same insane journey, but coming in. Okay, so how do you even spot a tiny object zipping through space against, you know, the backdrop of the entire galaxy? It's an incredible challenge, but for astronomers, the chase was on. This wasn't some aha moment that happened overnight. The clues came together piece by piece. So on July 1st, the Atlas telescope down in Chile, it flags this new object. But then, as astronomers started digging, they realized, hey, wait a minute, and found pictures of it from way back on June 14th. With all these different sightings, the Minor Planet Center, they're kind of like the official scorekeepers for this stuff. They connected all the dots, ran the numbers on its path, and then came the big confirmation. And that confirmation all came down to one crucial thing, its orbit. See, everything in our solar system, planets, asteroids, you name it, they're all in these closed, oval-shaped orbits. They're basically stuck here with us, gravitationally speaking. But this thing... 3i slash Atlas, it's on what we call a hyperbolic orbit. It's an open-ended path. It's coming in so fast and at such a wild angle that our sun's gravity just can't grab onto it. It's just doing a flyby and then it's gone, back out into deep space. That right there is the smoking gun that proves it's an interstellar visitor. All right, so we know it's a visitor. The next question is obvious. What is it? It's time to check out the profile we've put together on 3i slash Atlas. The very first thing that jumps out at you is its speed. I mean, wow, 58 kilometers per second. That is just screaming through our solar system. For comparison, Oumuamua was doing 26, Borisov 32. This new visitor makes them look like they were out for a Sunday drive. It's the fastest thing we've ever seen from out there. And it's not just fast, it's big. I mean, really big. The current best guess for its nucleus, its solid core, is somewhere around 10 kilometers across. That's way, way bigger than Oumuamua, and a whole lot bigger than Borisov, too. This isn't just a pebble from another star, it's a legitimate chunk of something. So what else do we know? Well, we know it's spinning, completing a full rotation about every 29 hours. It's also the brightest of the three interstellar objects we've spotted so far. And don't worry, it's not coming anywhere near us. Its closest pass to Earth will be at a very, very safe distance, like over 600 times farther away than the moon. But here's the most important part. We can see it has a faint coma. That's the fuzzy atmosphere around it and a little tail. And that tells us exactly what it is. It's a comet. So we've got ourselves a big, fast, bright comet from another solar system. But the real story, the part that's getting scientists really excited, is how it compares to the others. Because what makes 3i slash Atlas so interesting is that it slots perfectly in between the two visitors we've already had. Remember Oumuamua? That was a total mystery. It was rocky, it wasn't giving off any gas or dust, super weird. Then you had Borisov, which was on the complete other end of the spectrum, a classic super active comet spewing stuff everywhere. And now we have 3i slash Atlas right in the middle. It's faintly active with just a little coma and tail. 
This kind of variety is a huge clue. It tells us that the stuff floating between the stars is way more diverse than we ever thought. Yeah, when you lay them all out side by side, you really see it. Each one of these three visitors has been totally different from the others. A weird rocky object, a super active comet, and now a faintly active comet. It's like the galaxy is sending us these little sample boxes, and each one has something completely new inside. It's building this picture that the interstellar environment is just incredibly complex and varied. So, what's the big takeaway here? I mean, what does this all really mean? Finding 3i slash Atlas isn't just about ticking a box that says, we found another one. This is an unbelievably rare opportunity to study a piece of another solar system without ever leaving our own. And you can hear the excitement from the scientific community. Astronomer Michelle Bannister put it perfectly. She said, working on these things are transformational opportunities. And they are. Each one is a precious, physical sample from a place we can't possibly go to. It's a total game changer for figuring out how other solar systems are built and what they're made of. And these discoveries force us to update our own models of the galaxy, like in real time. Based on this third object, astronomers have already had to revise their estimates for how many of these things are actually wandering around out there. The new number is way lower than we thought, just 0.001 per cubic astronomical unit. That just makes every single one that we do get to see that much more valuable. But here is the best part. The story isn't over. In fact, it's just getting good. As 3i Atlas swings closer to the sun, it's going to heat up. And when it heats up, more of that ice and dust is going to start boiling off into space. You can bet that every major telescope on Earth is going to be pointed right at it, trying to analyze that material. What secrets is it carrying? What is its chemical fingerprint going to tell us about the star it came from? Is it like Borisov, or is it something completely new? We're about to find out. I, for one, cannot wait to see what this thing teaches us. Thanks so much for joining me for this explainer. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like and subscribe for more deep dives into what's happening out there. We'll see you on the next one.